they are instantly recognizable to millions of fans. But, for several cast members of Geordie Shore, that's rather surprising, especially when you consider how much some of them have changed over the years. In fact, the MTV series has sparked a number of dramatic transformations, rendering many completely different to their former selves. Together, they've undergone everything from facial fillers to boob jobs and chin lifts. But who are the biggest offenders? Here's our list of the program's ultimate shapeshifters. No stranger to a transformation, she's dropped a whopping four dress sizes since first appearing on the show in 2011. But Holly Hogan raised eyebrows this week when a series of new selfies left fans with their jaws on the floor. Some even struggled to recognize her. Apparently this is Holly from Geordie Shore, wrote one dumbfounded follower when Holly uploaded a shot of herself rocking Kim Kardashian Esquire platinum dresses and a cream lace bra. With a pair of perfectly plucked brows, pointed jawline and plump pout, the 25-year-old looked a world away from her old self. Last year, she admitted that she'd used a tiny bit of filler to create a new jawline after insisting she always felt self-conscious about her original one. She's also previously fessed up to having her nose streamlined using filler, and to having a boob job. She's newly single and, clearly, taking it very seriously. The brunette turned heads when she stepped out in Essex on Saturday wearing a red PVC dress, looking a million miles away from her 2011 self. Back then she sported a ton of orange fake tan and dodgy blonde hair extensions, but that's all been stripped back for a slightly classier aesthetic. And, to her credit, it works. Last night's eye-catching number also showcased her impressive weight loss, which has seen her shed two stone and drop four dress sizes, going from a 16 to an 8, in just one year. The inspiration, she says, was being trolled for her appearance. Not that it's all exercise and hard work, of course. She's also indulged in some non-invasive surgery. Last year she had her saggy chin corrected by top Beverly Hills surgeon, Simon Aurian, who's pals with Kim Kardashian. The procedure set her back thousands, but seriously boosted her confidence, she said. It's not just the girls who are seeking cosmetic intervention. Speaking to Daily Star Sunday, Nathan Henry recently revealed that he's also hooked on facial fillers. I watched the show and realized I had no lips, he said. It was just teeth and I hated it. So I got my lips and my jaw done to make them look more defined. I figure that if it makes me happy then I'll do it. A lot of men get fillers. More men are becoming aware of stuff like that and you can get it done so it's barely noticeable. You want to look good on Instagram and in photos. I'm extremely happy with the results, I don't care what other people think. It's my body and my face, so I'll do what I want with it. If I want to modify myself then I will. Last month, Charlotte was labeled a freak by fans who were turned off by her painful looking lips. A number of people accused her of having excessive fillers, but she's always insisted it is simply clever makeup. However, she has recently confessed to undergoing cosmetic surgery to correct her uniboob. The Newcastle-born lass went under the knife for a three-hour surgery in October and now shows off her assets on Instagram. Prior to that, she had a nose job and recently revealed that she's considering a hair transplant to hide her large forehead. As if that wasn't enough, she's also thinking about having a facelift. 